Welcome to understand technology. Today we will do on basics of Arduino. In the Arduino, we have two blocks of program function that is a void setup and void loop. In the void loop, you will be putting all your programs which will be run continuously and repetitively. In the void setup, you will be defining about your pin details. Like if you want to use the pin for input, you have to define your input. Now let's go to the example of uh, say we'll go and basic example let's do digital basic blink now in the basic blink i'll just copy the setup of, uh, code which says that pin mode 13 output so pin mode is a function this is the mode of the pin that is pin number 13 so you want to use the pin number 13 as an output now why because pin number 13 when led is connected in arduino board so in the loop we are going to put the continuous uh, blinking mode of the led which is connected in pin number 13 now in order to do that we want to once again copy the same example file so from the same example file i copy the uh, the the loop one which is uh, uh, giving a high signal and a low signal in a pin number 13 uh, a high signal uh, giving a delay of say one second now one second is defined uh, in terms of millisecond where because delay is a function which accepts in millisecond so it is 1000 millisecond which is for delay so it will be so one one second delay of high and one second delay of low this will be forming like a pwm signal because it is a digital so the digital signal of high and the low will be coming in the pin number 13 with a delay of one second so how it comes i would like to show you here so say one uh, second low low means zero and then the another one second high and another one second low then it becomes uh, low for a second so it's nothing but it will be look like a pwm signal so let's come back to our program now i would like to uh, save this program in my folder mm -hmm. say i just take my folder arduino folder say create one new folder called examples and uh, inside these examples i am going to save it as a uh, so LED, basic blink demo blink okay save it now this is how i am connecting my arduino into my uh, laptop so the arduino is connected using a usb cable and it is connected to a usb port so whenever we connect it to a usb port a particular comb port will be created by the computer by default so that will be showing either here that is a Arduino you know which will be selected here and in the COM port it will be by default it will be taking here if doesn't take you can cross verify what is the COM port connected created in your system so in our device manager if we go to our device manager then we will be able to understand uh, we, uh, what is the port details being created in the device manager so here open the port port yeah here so it is com3 so that com3 will be uh, defined in uh, should be defined in the arduino now let's go to our computer here program here it is com3 now this com3 should be selected then upload the program when we uh, finish the uploading then okay let's see in the output how it is blinking now uh, so the the bright led light is what is been connected now it is uploaded and it is here see that is blinking okay so 
this shows that this is a simple blink so we can use this kind of uh, no example in many big big uh, program whenever we want to say emergency light you want to design a blinking of led during the charging mode and all, all those things can be utilized here aviation light everywhere so many blinking examples are there now we want to do it in a different pin so let's do in pin number eight uh, pin number 8 is also a digital pin in Arduino. So now I change pin number 8. It, the pin number 8 has been changed. Okay. So now after that, let's see that uh, we have to connect the uh, a particular uh, LED. So right now I'm going to use this LED. So this LED will be connected here. Anode will be connected to pin number 8. Okay. So my anode is the white color. And another gray color is the cathode, which is uh, connected to ground pin. So you can see this, how this connection has been made. So, so both the connection uh, is made to the LED now. Fine. So this pin number 8 to the anode and pin number 7 to the cathode. Now after this, we will upload the particular program which we have changed the pin 8. Uh, okay, upload completed. Now let's see that how the output is coming into the LED. Okay, so this is how the uh, upload is completed now and then it is uh, showing that uh, blinking. So this kind of blinking is, is very simple, uh, simple but when uh, it is very it has a very big application so so there are so many lights like you no know, you can use it in aviation lights emergency light which i told you, you know so so many application is there where you can use it thank you guys